Hello, I'm Brian Wharton, principal cellist of the Auburn Symphony. I'd like to invite you to our Auburn Symphony Chamber Series. We'll be playing a concert Sunday, November 20th, 4 p.m. at St. Matthew's Episcopal Church here in Auburn. We'll be playing Shostakovich Symphony Number no. 15, and we'll be doing an arrangement by Victor Deverienko for piano trio, that's piano, violin, cello, and three percussion players playing all kinds of different percussion instruments, including timpani, marimba, vibraphone, xylophone, whip, all kinds of instrumentation. Let's talk about the symphony itself. So Shostakovich did some unusual things in this symphony. He added lots of different themes that are famous and recognizable. He was known to put themes in his works. Typically though, he quoted himself. This is unusual because he has a lot of quotes from other composers. And the, the breadth of the work has a lot of dark, interesting character to it. We're not sure exactly you know, what he meant by all these things. He made some quotes about them. For example, in the first moment, he suggested that it's a toy shop, but if you listen to some of the, the music, you, you realize it's kind of a chaotic march interspersed with things like this piece, the William Tell Overture, which you are going to hear in there. This is the William Tell Overture. So, you hear this? So that piece has a light, lively character, but then you have all this very fascinating, chaotic, dark-sounding march going on around it. Who knows what the meaning is? Shostakovich was a cryptic man. Themes had double meaning, and he might have said one thing, but it might have meant something else. The second movement is very slow, brooding, dark, sad, almost tragic sounding. And it's one of my favorite movements because it has a gorgeous cello solo extend. It goes through the breadth and the range of the cello. It's very interesting. Third movement is a macabre march. And uh, let's see if I can pull up a little bit of that. So here's a little bit of the march section that you can hear. There's an example of the third movement. It's very, you know, it's classic Shostakovich, dissonance, angst, Sort of this little sarcastic, ironic kind of sound that's classic Shostakovich. Fourth movement, it's got a lot of lyrical parts, um, a lot more dissonance, big, huge climaxes, very simple, soft little sections. But one thing really interesting is the very end of it. The uh, instrumentalists end on a high drone A and it's interspersed with the percussion, playing some melodies on instruments like the xylophone, and then a lot of the, the, the ticky-tacky sounds going on. And some people felt like maybe this was Shostakovich uh, writing what he heard. He was sick, he was in and out of the hospital, he was writing what he heard in the hospital, maybe end-of-life machinery. Who knows, it's very interesting. Uh, many uh, people that have heard this and written about it, they all have different conclusions about exactly what the symphony means. And in the end, this is just the mark of a great composer. And it just means something different to each person. So I encourage you to come to our concert. It's going to be really, really fantastic. It'll blow you away. So thank you so much for listening. And I hope to see you at the concert. Bye-bye.